But at that moment, on the ledge high above... Yaro, hand me the bow. Here it is, Master. This twisting viper will make a deadlier arrow than any feathered missive. Death to the infidels. Oh, oh. Valeria, no, no! The living arrow of death had found its mark in Valeria. She gasped in pain as I pulled the serpent from her body and hurled it far down the frothing white water of the river. But it was too late. The poison was doing its deadly work. Hold me, Conan. It's so cold, so... Atop the great mound near the wizard's hut, we lay Valeria to her final rest on a funeral pyre of dried wood. As the flames rose straight up to meet the starry sky, Subutai wept softly. Since the death of my parents, there had been no tears left in my eyes. But in the depths of my soul, there were tears that night. The next day, having lost our horses, we wondered how we would defend ourselves against the attack we knew would surely come. The Princess Yasemina, still prisoner of misguided loyalties, was still defiant. Enjoy this day while you can, barbarian, for it will be your last. Silence, wench. I will not be silent, nor will Thulsa Doom. He has seen your fires and will come for me at sunset. And when he does, he will kill you. You little fool, do you think to frighten me with your childish blabbering? I was born on a battlefield. The first sounds I heard were the screams of dying men. Conan, Subatai, see what I have brought you. Spears, battle axes, armor. Where did you find these things, old one? I took these from the dead men impaled on the mounds. When Thulsa Doom comes, you will need them. They won't. With these weapons, we will be ready for him. The gods are pleased with you, Cimmerian. They will watch the battle. But will they help us, wizard? Mm, no. Then tell them to stay out of our way. We spent the rest of the day digging trenches and preparing traps of sharpened bamboo stakes half concealed in sand. What happens now? You will see war, old man. War as you've never seen it. And soon they came, Doom's men, 20 iron-plated horsemen, their fearsome battle cries rising above the thundering hoofbeats of their horses. We took cover behind our carefully prepared defenses. For the first time in my life, I prayed as one of the horsemen came directly at me. I've never prayed to you before, Krom, but now I ask that you grant me just this one thing. Grant me revenge. And I hurled my spear with all the ferocity at my command. And the horseman crashed to earth, screaming in agony. Even as two more of Doom's killers thundered down at me, I seized another spear. Have a free spear, dog. I have plenty to spare. The first fell to the ground, impaled on the lethal shaft, and the second went down, tasting the cold steel of my sword. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw Subatai dispatch arrow after arrow with deadly accuracy. <laughs> like a turkey shoot, Cimmerian. Haven't had this much entertainment in years. But at that moment, a savage blow on my helmet knocked me to the ground. I turned to see hooves thundering down on me, and whirling around, I dove into the shelter of the nearest trench. The horseman tried to stop his mount. Whoa! Whoa! But he could not and was crushed to death as the beast stumbled into the pit. But as I stood up, I heard a familiar voice, and someone stood above me at the pit's edge. Well done, barbarian. Very well done indeed. Rexor. I, infidel Rexor, who nailed your worthless hide to the tree of woe, and will now derive the utmost satisfaction from disemboweling you. He had leaped down into the pit and struck the sword out of my hand before I had time to ready myself for his attack. I stumbled and fell, and just as his sword was about to descend... Things have set a mighty sword arm from out of nowhere, staying my death stroke. Crumbs thunder. Have I gone mad? It's Valeria. And did you doubt me then, Conan, when I held you in my arms and vowed that even the gods could never sever us? My eyes! I cannot see that devil woman! In that fraction of an instant, I lunged for my fallen sword and turned in time to see a fully recovered Rexor advancing on me. Valeria! She's gone. She returned from the dead just to save me. Aye, barbarian! And now as Thulsa Doom is my lord and master, I'll carve you into... Nay, Rexor, your carving days are at an end. It is my turn now, and this is for my father. <coughs> and this is for my father. <coughs> this is for me. Oh. He was dead, 
And now, only the most hated of all my enemies yet remained to face my vengeance. Falsa Doom. And suddenly, I saw him on his horse, facing Princess Yasmina, still chained to a stone slab. Don't leave me here, my lord. Don't leave me, my father. Have no fear, beloved child. Your lord and master will not leave you to the clutches of these infidel dogs. No, my lord. No. No, don't shoot. Doom had placed one of his serpent arrows in his bow. But just as he fired it at Yasamina, Subatai raced in front of her, and with his shield deflected the arrow of living death, and it fell dead to the ground. Praise the gods! It was not exactly the gods who saved your precious hide, princess. I, your beloved master, would have killed you just now. And now I must kill him, and you must witness it. You will understand someday when you are a queen. And as I walk slowly toward this king of darkness, sword in hand. Ah, no, no my, my son. son. You will not kill me, for what son would kill his own father? And who is your father if it is not me? I am the wellspring from which you flow. When I am gone, you will never have been. What could your world possibly be without me? My son, my... Oh. And you would kill your own father? It was done at last. My father was the light of day. Falsa Doom was my night. And now the night was ended. Doom's so-called children were now so many orphans. But like me, they were free at last. And now, Subatai, where will you go? North and east, and you, Sumerian, where will you go? South and west. We will meet again someday. Aye, good friend. If only at the gates of the world beyond.